I'm mounting the brake reservoirs up behind the dash because we didn't want anything up here on the firewall. We want to keep it nice and clean. Um, so luckily, luckily they're small enough we can tuck them back here behind the dash. I made kind of like a little frame right there we can mount them to. Uh, so that's what I'm doing right now. Welding that up. Um, Jordan's doing nothing. <laughs> we want to have this at powder coat this Friday. So what, today's Tuesday? Yeah. Yeah. This Friday we're trying to have this at powder coat. So we still got a lot of work to do, a lot of fabricating to do, but I think we can get it done. So we're gonna try to crank it out. We got going on right now this is our buddy Craig he is the professional welder around here when we try to do something we get frustrated because we don't know how to weld we call Craig and he gets it done so right now we're fabbing up these headers we got the turbo both the turbos mounted and all the angles right um, finished that up Craig welded the brackets up for us and now he's helping us fab up these headers because this is what he does so we're trying to get that going right now and it's complicated but we've got the professionals in here he's camera shy <laughs> <laughs> goes zero to soccer practice faster than you can say Shelby Cobra. We have a <laughs> <laughs> we, can, yeah, we can cut that. They were taking it for his first test drive. I, I don't know how it's gonna do. What what did you do this morning, Jordan? I went on a run. It's your mom's house. <laughs> so today we picked up the frame from Powder Coat <laughs> in Lovejoy. Uh, we got all the chassis components, all the moving parts, the sheet metal, and uh, the bed frame that we made that'll lift up. So we have all of the uh, the whole chassis powder coated in this matte gunmetal gray, and uh, most everything that bolts to there. And then all the moving components, we have this silver vein color, sparkly gray, and uh, it all turned out pretty good. So what we got to do now, after all the work we just did. We disassembled everything in about an hour and a half, two hours, and got it all powder coated and picked it up this morning. I got to start from scratch. And now it kind of feels like we're just starting over. 
but hard to breed colors. But 444 yeah. days till SEMA 2023. But we're not going to SEMA 2023. We're going to 2022. So we have 77 days. Because we're good at math. So we got 77 days to get this here hunk of metal up and functional. What's the name? I don't know. We didn't name it yet. We got a burnt. Leave leave names down in the comment section or go to our Instagram and I comment on those people. Because, yeah, we got to be those people. We don't have a name for this vehicle yet. While the chassis was at Powder Coat, we were working on the motor, getting sensors and uh, basically just button up, buttoning up the motor. And uh, so it's ready to set back in here now. We'd like to mourn the loss of our two friends. They're going off to Auburn. God rest their soul. They'll be leaving us. They'll be back. Can we have a moment of silence for them? Quite good at this. All right, guys. So what we're doing right now, we just got the front suspension uh, kind of loosely thrown back on here um, with all these nice powder-coated control arms and whatnot. A little skeptical of this uh, this powder coat is called Silver Vein. It's got kind of a, I don't know what, kind of like a wrinkled uh, silver and black color. But it's really cool looking and I think it turns out really nice up against this gunmetal gray frame. So we're throwing the shocks and the front suspension back on. Um, I'm going to throw probably the rear control arms are back on and the uh, rear end and we'll tuck that back up under there because we want to get this as a rolling chassis here pretty soon. So that's what we're working on now. We're getting everything fabbed up. We have a film crew coming this Thursday, which is, it's Monday. So three days, it's almost five. In three days, we got the film crew coming and they're gonna film all the big stuff going in uh, into the car. Like the motor, Jason's over there putting the alternator on and doing other motor things. And <laughs> so, the film crew is going to be here to film us putting the turbos, the motor, the cab, and all the fun stuff on there. And um, yeah, we'll, we'll talk more about that later. But this is what we've got going on right now, and we'll keep you updated along the process.
right, so what we got going on here today is a lot of Fragola lines and fittings. So we're running all these fuel lines and water lines, intercooler lines, all that fun stuff, all the way from the back, very back of the car to the very front of the car. And if you look over here at this intake, this nice, beautiful billet Frankenstein intake here, we've got all these lines in the back running out that um, I'm crimping on right now. So I'll kind of give you a demonstration on how to do that. So you've got the line here. You take this collar and you slide it over the line. Push this line, this uh, end right there. And then you screw that on. Make sure the line is, or the fitting is all the way down on the line. And then you come over here and you got to make sure you've got the correct, um, what do you call it thing? Correct die in the crimper machine here. Slide that over there. Make sure everything's tight. And then you go till the light goes red if you've got everything set up right. Then there you go, your finished crimp. All right, so I'm gonna demonstrate here some of our fine technology we're putting on this 35 truck. So we didn't want any door handles um, up here just to give it a nice clean look. We also wanted the suicide doors so that they open backwards, which we've got so much time and effort into these doors and we're finally getting them, in, uh, getting them tuned in good. But we've got this button, it's like a door popper. So you press the button and it releases the door latch and lets it out. So we just got that working. I'll demonstrate that for you, just like that. You kind of gotta, you gotta slam the door a little bit. We, we got some fine tuning to do with the, the pin and the catch and everything to get the doors perfect. So you can see, opens up that way. We thought it was gonna be a cool touch to just be different with the build and add another level of complexity to it. But we're finishing up uh, making a bracket that reinforces this uh, pin right here. So we're painting both of those and then we'll put that in and these doors will be ready to come back off and then we'll take the cab off and take it all in paint. And then when it comes back, we'll be putting it on for good. So when is that? He's painting in like a week or so. So yeah, we won't have this for a little while, but we've got a lot of work to do with wiring. So once we get the body, uh, the body off, we can start running wires and everything like that. But I wanted to show you this because we think this is a pretty cool touch with the suicide doors and the door poppers. doing right now. I'm taking this transmission apart. It's kind of scary. So the input shaft that came with this transmission was 0 0.04 inches off. Um, so from the end of the pilot bearing to the where the bell housing bolts was six inches and the shaft was 6.04 inches. So we had 0 0.04 of clearance issue and then they milled down a hundredth of an inch. I think that's right, yeah, 0.1 down from these splines to give us some extra room. So as you can see, we now have plenty of room. Oh yeah. Yeah! I'm going to take this thing apart, put this shaft in, and then put her back in. Mm -hmm. 